All right, picked up a 118 scale fire horse because I seen on FM2C his video. And I'll show you what I like and dislike. Number one, Rock Hobby is also part of FMS. Look at the packaging. Unreal, dude. Doesn't matter where this is coming from. This thing is not gonna get damaged. I already opened it. I just wanted to show you guys how it comes. Look at this. It's insane. Here it is. Completely stock. Ah, uh, this comes with LEDs. It does have Phillips screws, but that's okay. 99 bucks. It's pretty damn cheap. And the good old FMS controller. See, this is for this. This is for the FCX. Same. And the main reason I picked this up, this is stock. See that? $100 for that? All right, um, there's many different settings with the lights. I chose to stay on rear, the headlights and the rear tail lights to stay on. There is no taking that off. Your turn signal going when you turn, that's okay. This front bumper, I'm gonna try to trim down. I like the uh, evil eyes. It gets caught up when you're approaching, see how far it sticks out. So either take it off or trim it and move it down tires look all right nothing special actually has a functioning spare tire on the rear interior actual interior hood opens there's your ESC which is staying it's a good one comes with a battery it's a chassis mounted servo I'll be taking that off let me show you a little bit of running footage of its stock which is not bad especially for the price Oh, this thing needed some more weight. I don't like chassis mounted servos. It interferes with the uh, travel. I have these laying around. These are completed bulletproof brass metal SCX24 shafts or axles with a servo they're being they're not being used right now. So why the hell not? It'll also widen it a little. It's very narrow. It's the rear. Just wanted to show you guys how it runs stock. Electronics staying the same. Transmission staying the same. So that'll be super easy. Just changing out the axles. I always wanted to try this what Kevin Talbot does. Boom! All right. This is actually like, I don't know how many days later. But now this thing has SCX24. Some good old metal brass axles, weights, uh, metal steering, Emacs servo. Same on both. The extended links. So it fits perfectly. I just got some uh, cheapy metal wheels. These wheels are actually some Nitto mud grapplers. But this is all terrain. There ain't no motherfucking all terrain. I actually had a truck with these, a real truck with these on it. And the best thing I think I did for this is check out this flex. Check out the flex now. I need to do something about this hood. Oh, it comes open. Look at the flex now. Yeah. The rear one is still touching. That is the shit. How I did that were these. They're new, they are long shocks, long. So it can have tons of flex now, because I'm gonna make this one actually crawl. And let's see. When I put them on, the rear just has some regular hot racing shock springs. See, they will extend all the way out. They were getting bound up for some reason in the rear. 
with the dual spring. See, I kept the dual spring up front. For some reason, they don't bind up there. But they are very long. Now, it's a little bouncy. Like, when I'm driving around, you see, it could tilt too easy. Whatever. It's just strictly crawler now. It's, not, it's nothing but a crawler. Stock ESC and motor are work fantastic with these axles. I'll show you in a minute. But it absolutely murdered the speed. One thing I can do is get some overdrive gears for the front and rear. I think it makes it like 30% faster. I actually ordered some and Amazon sent me the wrong shit. Bastards. But for what I have, it's awesome. Also, make sure your drive shafts are, I forgot the exact term for it. Make sure they're aligned. Meaning, let me show you one. Okay, you see this? You see where it comes out? Make sure it matches where it goes in. You see how they're both on top? Same. See the the drive shafts are aligned. Otherwise you hear wow 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 while you're driving. I and I had a car that had that until I changed the drive shaft and then it rode so smooth. And a lot of times they just put them together however they fit. So make sure you do that with your drive shafts. And that's for any damn RC car that has a drive shaft like that. So these are some Amazon wheels, some beadlock metal wheels. I just put them on here. I had them for the SCX24. They don't fit the, the FCX, because that shaft and nut are bigger and that nut doesn't fit in that hole. But they're perfect for this, so I'm glad I got some use out of these because you know, I spent some good money on these SCX24 axles. Like I said, I think I need to just add some weight. So I do have these, or stick on weights for real cars. And I think I'm gonna put some of those on the body, but let's just see my plate from my bagel earlier. Also, change the lights. Just gotta find the right setting. Which one is it? Nope, I don't want flashing. Then it has, there are so many options for these damn lights. There we go. All right, watch the suspension. Beauty. Okay, here it is going up, going up a rock. Now since it got a lift from the shocks, that front bumper definitely doesn't get in the way as much. So I left it alone. But look at that slow speed. Minimal, oh my God. Look at how dusty you made the front. I'll feed you in a little bit. Anyway, so it has it doesn't need drag brake, even though I can adjust it here. It doesn't need drag brake because these are worm gears and the SCX24 axles. Now, I don't know if you can hear that motor in the video, but it's very quiet. And look at that slow speed control. This is stock in this fire horse. Oof, tires are gripping. Look at the rear. There it goes. But it's so flexy. Let's see this flex. Dragging on that axle, look at that. Doesn't look like shit in the video. There we go. I mean, I don't have an indoor course and I don't take these out, the little ones outside. I have enough big ones to take outside. So it's not gonna crawl up like vertical. The angle would probably suck, but the flex lets it crawl. Ooh, I don't know if it's gonna tip this one. Oh, that'd be all right. Pop the hood open.
There we go. Alright, there you go. Put my rock and my plate away. There is my version of a fire horse. Now, you may have had a boner because you've seen my little sticker here. I actually have little stickers. Little ones. Had them made. These are for sale. They're little, so they can go on your little cars. I actually, I have the, the bigger ones also. And these are not that big, but these are the small ones. See the size comparison. These are five dollars. These are two dollars. Like two dollars for a little sticker. Yeah, it's for my channel, bro. It's so I can buy shit to make videos, to drive over dildos and make you laugh. If you don't want them, don't fucking buy it. I'll just put them on everything I have. I'll put it on my dildos. Good to go. Close your damn hood. You look like an idiot. I'll close that later. I might throw some overdrive gears in to make it a little faster because let me show you full full throttle. Yeah, not that fast. It's all right. I have that and those that are pretty damn fast. This one is fine to stay slow. Anyway, thanks for watching.